What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So if you're having that DirectX 12 stutter with the Ascent, we can definitely fix that up. You're not alone. I was having the issue, so I had to jump in and do the fix. Just jumping through my settings here, 1440p full screen, um, high on the settings, DX12 and ray tracing all turned on, motion blur off. And I just want to show you the effect here as we go into the game real quick, and then we'll show the fix and how the game runs afterwards as well. We've got MSI Afterburner up there for our frame time, which will help me show you the stutters that are going on in the game. So here we are launched in here, and at first it'll seem like it's gonna be okay, but then as you move around, you'll see the frame time spikes in the line there, and you'll see the stutter in the screen, and this gets much, much worse and more obvious during combat or in other areas of the game. Like, it was really game-breaking for me, uh, so I had to jump in and get it fixed. There's a huge stutter right there. Every one of those big spikes you see there in that line is a stutter on screen and uh, really causes you issue in combat. I mean, it will get you killed in this game. There's more stutter you can see right there. And I'm gonna take you to an area down here and I'll do the same thing after we fix it and show it to you, but it stays a little clean there and then the stutters are gonna come back big time as we get into this area. There's a couple more bad stutters there. And then watch as we get right over here, everything's gonna get very stuttery, <laughs> very stuttery, look at that crazy crazy and that happens during combat all the time and worse um, so let's get out of here jump over to the fix and then we'll take a look again at what we got going on so go to your search bar type exploit protection bring that up now this works for steam and game pass you can see the two different uh, paths up top there that i typed out for you uh, i tested this in steam it worked just fine and i don't need that anymore so i'm going to delete that out of here you could leave it. You wouldn't have to remove it if you had the game uh, elsewhere, but I don't need it in there. So we're going to add the program name right here. That's going to be for Game Pass, the Ascent-WinGDK-Shipping.exe. And then for Steam, the Ascent-Win64-Shipping.exe. And this works great for both. I had it fix. I had it fix it for me in both spots without any trouble. So once you get that typed in there, make sure you're all good to go. Click Add. And then it's going to bring up this little screen right here. Real simple. Don't worry about anything else for this fix. Just scroll down to the control flow. Click on override system settings. Turn that off and apply. And you shouldn't have to restart your system. Just make sure you've restarted the game. Make sure it fully shut down. If you do have any troubles, go ahead and give your computer a restart. It never hurts. Um, but you don't necessarily have to for it to work, which I didn't hear. I jump right back into the game. I'll show you same settings. Same 1440p full screen. No V-Sync. Same graphics. High. DX12, motion blur off and ray tracing all turned on. And we'll jump back in and I'll show you the exact same area now that we've done that. Now that we have done that control flow fix, it should be good. Should be good to go. And by the way, NVMe PC, PCI Express 4.0 and uh, drives are amazing. The load time's so freaking quick here. It beats the Series X every time on this game. All right, so in the same spot, keep an eye on that frame timeline again there and on our screen and you should really not see much of anything we get one as we first start getting into the world there that's kind of normal you're not going to necessarily get rid of all of them but look at that it's a lot cleaner right now as we move around i'm not stuttering frame times are staying a little bit better for me and this is even with recording and stuff all at the same time and running all of this but you can see here as i jump around and do the same thing i just did on the other one we're not getting those little spikes um and i can tell you it stays the same way in combat too this saved a game for me on pc and uh, I hope it helps you guys out as well. Here's that same area that we just went crazy in the last one. No problem whatsoever. Look at that clean transition right into the other spot here. So, all right, guys, thanks a lot for coming to check out the video. I really appreciate it as always. I hope this helps you out. Definitely give a thumbs up, a like, subscribe if you haven't. And, uh, you know, leave me a comment. Let me know if this helped you or if you have any questions. You can definitely join up on Twitter or Discord as well. All right, guys, thanks a lot for coming to check it out. I'll see you in the next one.